Giant Stirred by Celia Godkin. Long, long ago, in a blue, blue sea lay a green, green island. On the island, there were white, sandy beaches with coconut palms, where great sea turtles came by moonlight to bury their eggs in the sand. On the island, there were leafy green forests with brightly colored butterflies, where noisy red parrots screeched and chattered from the treetops. On the island, there was a cool blue lagoon where many silvery fish swam in an underwater garden of strange and wondrous animals. On the island, there was a sleepy village of grass-thatched houses where gentle, smiling people went about their daily lives. They collected coconuts from the beaches, fruit from the forest, and fish from the lagoon. Over all of this peaceful island towered a great cone-shaped mountain. Most of the time, it was quiet, but sometimes it let out a puff of smoke or rumbled like a giant mumbling in his sleep. When the giant stirred, the people of the village took garlands of flowers up the mountain and threw them in the crater at the top. They prayed that the sweet, heavy scent of the flowers would put their mountain god back to sleep and give him pleasant dreams. But there came a day when the mountain would not go back to sleep. It rumbled and roared. It be belched out black smoke, which fell as rain of cinders on the village. The people were afraid to go up the mountain. Instead, they huddled fearfully in their homes. The parrots and all the other birds flew screeching and chattering up into the sky. They made a great, colorful, noisy cloud, which flew away across the sea in search of another island on which to live. The chief of the village gathered his people around him. He told them that the birds were the messengers of the gods. He said that when the birds left, the mountain would awake in anger and no amount of flowers would appease their mountain god now. The chief told his people it was time to leave their beautiful island home. The people did as they were told. They gathered their belongings and hurried with them to the beach. They loaded the boats and paddled away across the sea, looking for another island on which to live. For days after the people left, the mountain belched out black smoke. It rumbled and roared till the ground shook and shook and shook. Then, the island people heard the explosion miles away across the sea. They had just landed on another island, but they knew they were not yet safe. Their legends told them the anger of the gods stretched across oceans. So they scrambled up the mountainside of their new island as fast as they could. When they were safely out of reach, they stopped and looked back as a great tidal wave swept toward them. For days afterward, huge waves crashed against the shore. For weeks afterward, the sky was black with smoke and cinders rained down from above. But the people were safe in their new island home, and they began to build a village. But what of the old island? It was just a smoking ruin. The mountain in its fury had split apart. Not a single living creature had survived. For many months, the island was just a barren black rock in a blue, blue sea. Little fishes swam around it, and some found their way into the lagoon. Strange and wondrous animals began to grow there. One day, some seeds blew over in the wind and lodged in a crevice in the rock. Little plants began to grow. Later, bigger plants began to grow. Storms washed white sand up onto the, sea, the shore. Coconuts bobbed by in the water and came to rest on the sand. They put down roots and began to grow into coconut palms. Then, great sea turtles came by moonlight to lay their eggs in the sand. Weeks later, little hatching turtles broke free from their nests and scampered across the beach into the sea. Butterflies blew over in the wind and found a home among the plants. A pair of parakeets flew by and settled on the coconut palms. Month by month, year by year, plants and animals returned until there were once again white sandy beaches 
with coconut palms, leafy green forests with brightly colored birds and butterflies, and a cool blue lagoon with silvery fish in an underwater garden of strange and wondrous animals. Perhaps one day there would be also a sleepy village of grass-thatched houses with gentle, smiling people. For the legends say that just as the mountain gods destroy themselves, so too are they reborn as islands, which rise out of the sea in an endless cycle of destruction and renewal.